so today we are going to talk about when to give a bath to a newborn baby so well there are different thoughts about it but generally when the babies are born they born with a a, a white coat like material here and there it might look unsightly but there is a purpose to it because this little white coat we call in medical terms as vernix caseosa so this actually the little baby inside the mama, mother's womb was at the temperature of 37 because that's what the mother temperature is but once they are born majority of the occasion the temperature is less than that so the it is very important to maintain the right temperature in the babies so that's why they are born with this little natural coat we we, we uh, describe as will protect them not to drop the temperature quickly so you don't necessarily have to just rub it off and give them a full bath which some people by misunderstanding do we don't necessarily so but generally what we advise to the parents to regarding the bath is to avoid the full fledged bath until the baby has dropped the belly cord you know no umbilical cord or belly button you say so the umbilical cord when drops and drips off then you can do the full bath but before that you can also do a sponge bath where you take a little cloth you dip in the lukewarm water and clean the baby once with the soap water once with the fresh water but having said that is it absolutely no to a bath uh, before the umbilical cord falls the answer is no if there is a ritual you need to do if you need to do have a bath compulsory yes you can provided you avoid keeping your umbilical cord a moist so but ideally we would say that you could avoid the full bath until it falls and dries off it is the most pragmatic and most usual advice we give to the parents thank you